Hey, what's going on guys? And in this video, I really want to talk about a new goalie concept that I've kind of come up with. Now, when I say new goalie concept, it's kind of like a combination of uh, what we've already had in the past and what we've had now and gotten rid of, but I think it's something that could improve the position. So the basic idea here is a goalie momentum button. Remember, beginning of NHL 17, we had that momentum when we were holding the left stick and a shot was taken, we would actually get this pretty big slide across the crease. And the reason it was removed was because of cross grain snipes. Now, I actually really miss that momentum and I think there's a place for it in goalie, in the SHL, but I think we need to have control over it. So, R1 currently does nothing. Let's use R1, why not? It's another button. You hold R1 and you move with the left stick. Now, if a shot's taken while you're moving with the left stick, you're gonna get momentum like we did at the beginning of NHL 17, it's not there anymore, uh, and you're gonna shoot across whatever direction you're holding the left stick in. Now, what's that gonna do? How is this balanced? It's gonna create you know, more ability for us to save cross creases. Um, right now, you you do have to be kind of cheating or get some speed going, but it's not bad. But I, I really just miss that momentum. Um, and then also how it's balanced is if you're moving and you get the cross grain shot while you're holding this modifier, obviously you're going to get sniped. And I think that's a good thing because you did something on your controller that, you know, basically deemed that you should get sniped. Now, you can also make it so that there is absolutely no momentum whatsoever when you're not holding this button. And that kind of adds like another little skill level to this. Now, I'm not sure if that's the right idea or whatever, uh, but I, I do think that's a possibility if you want to balance it even further. The other thing, holding R1 and holding down, this would improve your goalie's vision for screens, deflections, and five hole. Now, we already have it so that when you're in the butterfly, you're kind of already doing that. And so maybe it's not necessary, but it is just something to think about you know, you don't want to get five hole snipe from the from the half boards. Hold R1 and down. Your goalie will react quicker into the butterfly. You know, screens and deflections. He's going to get down there and react a little better to those. I don't know. I don't know if that's the right move. That's just a little additional thing there. Now, this sounds very similar to the anticipation stick from previous gen hockey. If you guys don't remember, a lot of you guys just started playing goalie in NHL 16, and that's fine. But in like NHL 13, 14, 15... I forget when it got put in, but you could hold the right stick. It wasn't like a, a butterfly slide. And your goalie would uh, kind of do this little lean animation. His shoulders would, would switch. And uh, whatever side you were holding it to got a boost in, like, save ability. So if you held it to your glove side, your goalie would reach further with his glove. Uh, and, you know, if you held it to your glove side and the puck went blocker side, you were more likely to get sniped. Now, it wasn't 100%, uh, but that's the way it worked. Um, now, I don't like that because it really aided in middle sitting. All you had to do is sit down your butterfly, and if a guy was coming in short side, you could sit in the middle of your net and hold anticipation, and your goalie would reach top corner and basically pluck the puck out of the net and save it. Um, and if he passed it, all you had to do is let go of the right stick, and your goalie was in perfect position in the middle of the net to save the one-timer. So it, it really, I don't think we should go full bring back the anticipation stick because I don't really like that um, so let me know what you guys think I think the pros here are that it gives us way more control over our movement it gives a boost in movement that we need like we can get across the crease faster when we need to um, the cons are though it's an extra button that's you know it's an extra button we need to be hitting and not everyone's fingers work work the best um, you know we could even integrate desperation saves and the right stick saves into this button so you know how when you're you're moving and you stack the pads you get that big slide well maybe if you're holding r1 when you're in a standstill and you hit circle and or b or whatever to stack the pads you just get that momentum um right away now i don't know if that's fair or not but I, you know maybe maybe it is um and if you're holding it on the dive, too, you would get a little extra ground. Now, I don't think it's necessary. I think I just kind of want them to increase the range of the dive a little bit. Um, as for the right stick saves when you're holding it, you know, maybe you get that uh, low, like, 
sliding across the crease and spread eagle type desperation save more. I don't know. I'm just kind of spitballing here. I want you guys to take all this information that I'm giving you right now and and let me know what you think about it. Um, obviously, I mean, everyone's got gripes with goalie. I want to know your specifically what your opinion is on this specific idea. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.